See this? This is my boomstick! Hi everyone, Boomstick here from Renegade Racing. Today we're looking at the BXR Bailey Blade GT1 special event. And we're doing stage 10, which uses the Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport, everyone's favorite. And uh, looking at the conditions, um, you'll get five red event packs for finishing the race, 30,000 credits for performing six 360s, 20 tokens for doing 15 seconds of nitro time, and two yellow event packs for doing eight stunts. Then we've got the blueprints for the star ratings, one a piece and beating 108 seconds in the five star. All right, well, my grand sport is gold and I'll be uh, demoing it now. So uh, let's go and take a look um, at the course. Um, I believe it's Egyptian Wonder and there we go. All right, now I've had a couple of runs in this course in the B-Class Elite last week, so I've got it down pat, I think, and uh, we'll be going through the route now. This should be quite a bit of fun, actually. I quite like the GS. It's a uh, high performance, and those 360s should be pretty easy to do. Let's give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna hold the Nitro here and just move over to the left. Um, and you wanna try and uh, redirect some of the AI if you can, and then just open drift into that wiggle until you get a imperfect 360 off that section, building up for a shock wave. And just to get our speed up, you can continue the shock wave. I probably should have kept it going. Anyway, um, we'll do a imperfect 360 off this section and just try and straighten up for a shock wave to get our speed back, drifting for another shock wave, cutting back to blue. And then we'll go through here in imperfect, drifting for a shock wave and triggering it there with the 360s here. And oh, I've hit the sides and oh my gosh, whoa. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if we can still get the time, people. Uh, obviously, this is my first run. I do like to do the video in the first run. Um, here we go. Uh, I'll build up to a shockwave, and uh, we might have to do this again after. Shockwaving again, picking up the bottle, and then we'll just go into yellow, drop, drifting around to build up another shockwave, taking off through this barrel roll, and then off this one again. And we're gonna do a 360 on landing. I'm not sure if I got them all because there was too many things going on there to count. I don't know what happened there. That was a bit random, completely unplanned. <laughs> um, but we got the time, only just. So just scrambling there to get the time. But uh, I'll do another run, I think, um, <clears throat> just to demonstrate how to actually do it without that malarkey. Um, that was a bit crazy. <laughs> Uh, hopefully some of you are laughing and it just goes to show that even uh, the people that try to demonstrate all the stuff like myself still have crazy stuff happen from time to time and uh, nothing but uh, trade coins in there. Um, I am a little bit disappointed with the drop rate of these pa the yellow packs actually. I, I, I was hoping to do a car unlock here but it uh, looks like it's not going to happen. Anyway, let's get into it. I'll do it again and uh, we'll demonstrate the run properly this time. Uh, hopefully we won't do any crazy 360 madness in that little section there. Um, but uh, yeah, the Egyptian Wonder is quite a cool course actually. I really like it. I'm glad it's part of the uh, Elite Class B. Um, using obviously the Glado or the Hussey in that one will be um, quite a challenge for everyone, but uh, lots of fun. Anyway, let's get back to it and we'll go through it properly. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to try and redirect the AI and the way I'm going to do that is just cut over at the beginning and then just point the car like I'm going down that way and then just move over and they've all smashed. Now that clears it up so you can do a decent drift here and we'll see if we can get the 360. I didn't quite get the shot by but we'll do it up here and we'll carry it through this time all the way through holding drift on landing triggering back into yellow and then we'll go imperfect 360 here and we managed to get three there. Um, so I think we've done about five 360s already, but uh, we'll get this back. Now going into blue over this gravel and just drifting here and we'll just use imperfect. 316 here, nice and clean, not hitting the sides. And uh, just drifting around this corner, shockwaving to get our speed back up, going back into yellow. Drifting and then shockwave and then cutting back to yellow. We'll do another drift here and just uh, trigger shockwave, picking up the bottle, going back into yellow. Drift around again, shockwave, and we'll go off this barrel, nice and low, people. You want to try and stay as low as you can. Don't go too high, 
and we'll do our little 360 at the end. All right, um, that should be it, 103.909. Um, it's a much better time, obviously, and uh, demonstrating that you can actually do this course very easily in the GS. I don't think people are gonna have too much trouble with this one, um, probably a bit of fun, more like, and uh, still no blueprints there. Oh well. Anyway, hopefully this video has helped or gave you a laugh or a giggle. And uh, yeah, good luck with the SE. I'll be back with a Grand Prix round two video update in a few hours. Um, I'm just refining that run. And uh, yeah, that should be a fun one actually. I quite enjoy the um, Shanghai tile set. So stay tuned for that one. If you are new to the channel, please give me a like and subscribe up there. It's really helping me out. And uh, yeah, good luck everyone. Bye for now.